there. So, um, it's late because I forgot until I started watching the Olympics that I was gonna watch the Olympics tonight because uh, girls gymnastics was on fire as was swimming and my brother actually knows Katie Ledecky so obviously I had to watch swimming. Um, but here I am filming. It's fine. It's 12.01. This certainly is late. But I found a journal I had from fifth grade. Now there's this trend on the internet of reading old diaries and journals and so I'm going to partake in some sort of limited adventure. Um, to give you all some context, in fifth grade part of our homework was to keep a daily journal. Or we had to write in it every day we had school or something, I don't know. And we'd get graded on having an entry for every day that was required, and they had to be at least ten lines long. So I'm gonna read some of this. So it's not like super exciting, but I'm gonna read some of this. August 28th, 2008. I wonder what to say. I've had one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. During, spelled with a J, so during, math, I said that 4 times 4 equals 26. I know it's really 24, but I blanked out in front of the whole class. I hate school. I'm, work I'm making a comic called The Amazing Adventures of Water Girl. She's on the side, and there's a drawing. Well, peace, I had named this journal peace. Aren't I beautiful? Yep. Real name, real name. Plain old me is Water Girl. Well, bye, peace. Write you soon. <clears throat> At least I said one of the most embarrassing moments of my life, and not the most embarrassing moment. And if I only hated school because of that mistake, oh, life would be so much simpler. Alright, now we're moving on to September 2nd, 2008, which was a Tuesday, apparently. Peace, I have a dilemma. D-E-L-E-M-A. I'm in love with James and Russell. It's complicated. Hey, guess what? I've started a spy business. People hire us to spy on others for free. Or we hire ourselves. Russell just lent me his pencil. James and Russell both are very charming. My head hurts, so I'll stop writing now. Bye, peace. I will write to you tomorrow. My gosh. James and or Russell, if you ever see this, hello. In fifth grade, I apparently was in love with both of you. Now let's talk about what a weird concept of love I must have had in fifth grade. I've always, I've always been aggressively into lots of people, but still, in love with, oh my gosh, I was such a naive child. Also, sorry for calling out your names, but like, who's gonna find you based on that? I then started writing a story about me as Water Girl. Then there's Monday, September 8th, 2008, when I am in fifth grade. The first sentence is, peace, weight loss training is hard. Why was I trying to lose weight in fifth grade? Why was I trying so desperately in the fifth grade to lose weight? What was wrong? I don't think I'll ever be a side. 10. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, that's why, like, society's messed up. Like, I'm not a girl, so I don't have misogyny, but there's this idea of misdirected misogyny. And for all intents and purposes at this time, I thought I was a girl, and everyone around me thought I was a girl, and everyone around me still thinks I'm a girl. So, like, all these messages were coming at me hard. And still do to some extent but even if they're not intentionally aimed at me. But what kind of world do we live in where fifth grade me is so concerned by the fact that they think 
they're never going to be a size 10. And then I just brush it off and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to draw the Squirrel Girls, which was some other comic idea I had. As if this is okay. It's so bizarre to me. Alright, whatever. It's not whatever, but whatever. On Tuesday, September 9th, 2008, I wrote a song about the Squirrel Girls, which I'm reading the lyrics because I don't remember what the melody was. Who's that clinging to the tree? Who's that clinging to the tree? Maybe one of the Squirrel Girls. So whether you like it or not, the Squirrel Girls are back in town. The mysterious girls fight crime every day. So look out, my villains, they're coming your way. The Squirrel Girls are back in town. So even then, I was writing songs, which is cool, because my parents are like, Oh, lol, you're not a songwriter, you've never written a song in your life. And I'm like, listen, did you not read this? <laughs> my mom did read it. So nothing in here. So my mom was okay with the fact that I was doing weight loss training. I just remembered that my mom read these. Like, what is this? What is this? Did she think it wasn't serious? Did she think I wasn't being serious about it? Was she down with it? I don't know. It's weird. Then my mom is also okay with the fact that the next day I write, today has been weird. Really, really weird. I feel different about everything. I'm feeling happy about school and still feel bad towards my home. Like, my mom approved that I write this in my journal that my teacher read in fifth grade, and she was like, oh, hey, whatever. This is serious. I think I should see a psychiatrist. See, I'm spelling that right. Weird emoji that is saying gulp. I hated school so much that feeling happy towards it made me think I was crazy. Okay, I guess. The only things I like about home are the building itself, my room and its contents, the books, and my guinea pig feather. Why was my teacher not concerned about that? Why was my mom not concerned about that? Why was nobody concerned about the fact that I apparently didn't like my family? What the fuck? This is very concerning. I had, I apparently had a very concerning childhood. Um, then I write about a stuffed bear and then 9-11, because even in fifth grade, I realized that uh, Almighty America was so important. And then the next entry is about climate change. It's so... whatever. I then talk trash about my brother and say that I got appointed leader of the tribe of thankful wailing and dismiss it as a long story. I don't even know. And then I ramble on about how much I'm in love with this journal because I apparently thought I had nobody else to talk to. So that's just, you know, a few choice excerpts from apparently the most concerning document I've ever written, which is my fifth grade journal. If you'd like to hear more of my disastrous stories, uh, let me know. Also, I do want to say a little addendum to something I said earlier. Earlier, instead of reading a name, I said real name, real name, uh... Azariah is my real name. I meant birth name, last name, you know. Whatever. Just, just a thing. Alright, so that's that.
If you liked it, leave a like if you like. I stole that from Jody Clark. I'm not even sorry. I hope you have a great day.